The dreams of a local couple were almost dashed when the groom had to be rushed to the hospital on their wedding day. Oh, of all times, but his doctor at Memorial Hermann took on new job duties by becoming a wedding planner right there in the emergency room. Frank and Tamika still can't believe they're married after postponing their engagement and almost their wedding because of Frank's heart problems. It all began 10 years ago with congestive heart failure when he was only in his 30s. His bride believed long before her vows she had stick together through sickness and in health. I feel that the Lord had put a, you know, me in his life to help him you know, get to the point where he's at now. Frank has a heart pump and implanted defibrillator that was on standby 24-7 to jumpstart his heart if needed. He never imagined it would jump into action on his wedding day. I stopped by, I got a, uh, espresso, but you know, end up getting a double shot and uh, cost me. After the defibrillator shot Frank, an ambulance rushed him to Memorial Hermann. He's having this uh, lethal uh, electrical disturbance of his heart, and at the same time, he's telling me that this is today's his wedding day, and he's been waiting for this for a long time. and. How do you want us to uh, proceed with this? And I kind of stopped and I said, oh no, this is not supposed to happen. The man had been waiting for a year plus for this joyous moment to happen. And then here he is, he's critically ill and how is his fiance going to take it? Tamika was busy preparing for her dream wedding scheduled later that day. He had called me, he was like, you know, baby, my defibrillator went off four times. and. He was so calm, so I tried to be calm, you know, as, as well, but inside it was like, I wanted to burst out and start crying, but I didn't want to cry on the phone, you know, because he was so calm and I didn't want to get him upset. Dr. Nathan had been treating Frank for years through Memorial Hermann and UT Health and understood how important this wedding was to him, so he quickly put plans in place. We need to get him back to his uh, own rhythm, the God-given rhythm, so that he will be stable enough to go through the ceremonies. So we kind of cardioverted him, a medical term of jump-starting his heart and got him back. And then afterwards, uh, things all fell into place. The emergency room physicians and the nursing staff went above and beyond. They were able to try to get the chaplain there and all the necessary people who are supposed to be there. And the wedding happened in the emergency room. And I was so happy for him, you know, all of this took place when COVID numbers were at their lowest, so Frank was allowed a few visitors. His uncle served as their pastor. For better or for worse, for up and down, for good or bad, until death do you call. I do. I was really, really happy to, you know, be able to see him, you know, for everything to just go on as planned. Well, it wasn't as planned, but to still, you know, go on with our day of, you know, becoming as one, you know, that day. I was really happy to see him. Tamika went on to the reception to greet her guests only 20 minutes away, and Frank stayed in constant communication from his hospital bed. Everywhere I turned around, somebody had him on FaceTime. So, you know, he was able, that's how he was able to, you know, completely see the whole thing. Mind you, emergency room was really busy, but they just said, you know what, for this person, it was important. It's been a year and a half of struggle for them. So let's just make simple things happen for him and get some happiness in the whole ER during the day. And they were so happy for him. And it's just a feel good experience. That's what it's all about. I've been a lot better. Uh, man, God's been good, man. He uh, renewed me and brought me back to, uh, to my senses. And man, the people at Memorial, <clears throat> uh, it's been great, Dr. Nathan and the whole staff. They've been great, man. They've been uh, working with me and, and uh, helping me to achieve, uh, you know, my goals, my health goals and stuff. That's what community is all about. That's what people as a society is all about, helping one another, making something happen for one another so that, you know, we uplift people when they're really down.
Oh, I'm so glad they got to tie yeah. the knot right there in the ER. Dr. Nathan Hobes Frank will qualify to be put on a heart transplant list soon. He underwent bariatric surgery and has lost more than 100 pounds so that he wow. can get on that list. It's going to help him get closer to that goal. That's amazing. You're going to be talking about this today on your live stream. Yes. Tell folks when they can watch. Yes, please join me online at 1230 today for Lunch for the Soul. We'll talk more to the doctor and a chaplain from Memorial Hermit about how faith helps many patients during a medical crisis and everyone can find it on Fox 26 Houston's Facebook, Twitter, and YouTube pages. Awesome. I love how that doctor treated him like he was yes. family, you know? Just like family. That's really neat.